process. Yeah, no, we we just sit here and we don't know what we're doing. We never come in here with a clear direction. That's not true. That is, you know, you're right. That's not true. We do sometimes come in here with a clear direction. Today is not one of those days. Yeah. No, this this week has been uh, particularly. I mean, I have a clear direction. I've been playing the shit out of Far Cry Four or Five, Six, Five. I've been playing Four, even though Five's out. Yeah, no, no, I got five. I'm supposed to get three for or two. I'm, I get one of them for free as well. Uh, it but doesn't matter. Either way, yeah, no, that game is awesome. That's cool. I mean, I'm glad Ubisoft's kind of sort of starting to get it right. I mean, no, <laughs> no, but <laughs> no. There's still some really, really <laughs> shitty microtransactions in it. Um, but at the same time, I just I like the Far Cry series. There you go. I um, mean, there's no climbing towers anymore, so it's a lot more exploration to find the stuff. Right. I mean, every every inch of the map is jam packed with uh, like locations and shit to do and side quests. So. You're also apparently shooting bears, so that's pretty fun. Oh yeah, lots of bears. Lots of bears. Shoot, lots shoot. of bears. Actually, before I came over here. I recorded a clip because I thought it was really goddamn funny. I right. just, I walked onto a dock and I was like, well, fuck it. I'm going to go fishing because I got to go record the podcast in a little while anyway, so I'm not going to start a mission. Yeah, no, don't do anything that'll be uh, like kind yeah. of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Committal. Yeah. So I start fishing and then I walk back to the, like the shore and I hear a bear growl and I kind of freak out and spin around and pull my shotgun out at the same time. Right. And it's right in my fucking face. And reactively, I just pulled the trigger on the shotgun, and I blew the bear. Like, I shot it right in the head. Obviously, there's no... There's, like, blood comes out, but there's no, like, uh, dismembering or anything on the animals. Hey, you're not looking at Doom, where everything yeah, gets dismembered. I blew its head off, but nothing. Its head didn't, like, go flying off or anything. Or it didn't, like, blow a chunk of it off. But, yeah, I was... I, it freaked me the fuck out so bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can't you can't do that because then you'd have PETA up in arms. Oh yeah, you know, like they were up in arms about Pokemon. Yeah, completely fictional characters. Anyway, how you guys doing today? Hey, we're the Ungodly Geeks. I'm Luke. I'm Joe, and How's we're just kind of sitting here, you know, completely clueless. Yeah, well, we're always clueless, but that's true. Um, that's kind of you know, honestly, that's how I prefer to live my life. Fuck it, like I don't, <laughs> I don't, you, I don't. The more know. you know, the more depressed you are. The more, yeah, like like what's that saying where it's like the problem with the world is that the the people who know things are so full of doubt, while the idiots are so full of confidence. <laughs> they just do dumb shit. It's like whatever, whatever, you know. And so it's like, yeah, that, that kind of that kind of applies uh, to us. That at least, about at least, right. definitely me. I guess I can't speak for Luke, and I won't ever speak for Luke unless I know that I can, and I don't know that I can. Yeah, no, it's uh, what I just got a notification. No, oh, that was me. Sorry, that uh, was you. Sent okay, you a meme. all right. He sent me a meme. <laughs> it's, he sent me a meme, it's, guys. It's Thanos, and it looks like Guy Fieri. Don't worry, I'll, I'll throw the meme in the video. You guys will get to see it. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> Hope he doesn't find the flavor stone. <laughs> 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 that is so good. But yeah, I, I haven't looked at it yet, so you guys are going to see it. Like, like I'll I'll see it when I put it in the video. That's 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 what we're going on with there. But uh, so we you, you've been playing Far Cry, yeah, and, and it, it's it's it's, fun. it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's great. It's still it's still Far Cry. It's not it's not like a great departure from um, the other Far Cry games. Uh, right. Like not even as far as uh, Primal was, but. It's like they're fun. They're just run around. You're shooting cultists. I'm extremely happy with the villains in the game. Um, this this religious cult. They're constantly like mumbling religious things and like shouting like uh, we've, we're here to save you, brother. As they're shooting at you and crazy shit. I'm I'm gonna sit there and go. Uh, you guys shooting at me is the opposite of saving yeah. me. <laughs> Unless yeah, you're sitting so there thinking, fucking... we're going to save you in a religious sense by killing you with holy bullets. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah we're going to save your immortal soul by, by killing you with these bullets that were blessed by one of our peoples. The um, the the way the faction breaks down yeah. is there's the father, his two sons, and his daughter. Right. And, um, yeah, yeah, two sons. And the father's the – he's the religious leader, crazy – uh, like like you, when you meet him at the beginning of the game, they do that same Far Cry thing where if you don't do anything for ten minutes, um, it he, like you, the game it's game over. Like oh yeah, it plays you, the credits. You, you basically refuse to play the game and you get the ending. Um, I wish more games did that. It'd be interesting. Like yeah. like like okay, how stupid would it be like if you played like let's say you start a game on Skyrim and as you're leaving Helgen, you just stop and stand there. 
Yeah. And then, like, after 15 minutes, if you still haven't moved, Alduin just comes and eats you. I mean, not the kind of ending I would expect, but yeah. Or if you do something wrong, you die, and it's and it is it's, it's an ending. It's not a game over. Yeah, no, like it's they, not like a you failed something. No, you, get, you you did your thing. Congratulations. You know what? If you've completed Skyrim, right? Yeah. Is there a credit roll? I think so. I have no idea. When okay. you when you okay, kill listen. Alduin and finish, when you finish I, the main quest, I there can't. Is a roll. I cannot remember if there I, was a credit. I don't remember a credit roll. Remember, I just did this like a month ago on the Switch. I don't remember I, credits rolling at all. I'm pretty sure there is because I know, like even Fallout Four, there's a credits roll after you beat the final thing. But it's like I, I, I think I oh don't God, remember. Now I don't know. Yeah, like it's one of those things where like. Is there a credit roll? I have no idea. I did did do they give us that that bonus that little thing? I don't. Fucking I know remember. you can go to the credits on the main menu. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think I, there's even an achievement for it. <laughs> <laughs> on Skyrim? No, I mean, Fallout. I I, on, Fallout? Uh, no, I've there gotten have been on different games in the past. That's I mean, I no, I've that. I've got. I I think there might be. I don't know, but uh, no, I've gotten all the Skyrim ones. Uh, there's definitely not one for viewing the credits, yeah. but uh, no, there is one for like you know random shit like oh get all get get a bounty of at least a thousand and all nine holds and yeah. at the same time or get a hundred thousand gold. Which admittedly, I did that on the Xbox 360 by taking my save file off the system and putting it onto the computer and then modifying it. And when I went back, I had like seven hundred thirty-six thousand gold, and boom, got oh, it. I had no problem getting that much when I was farming for uh, smithing and al- uh, and uh, enchanting. Well, the thing is, XP. is as, as I was getting that money, I was spending it as quickly as I got it. Oh yeah. So I mean, I, I didn't care I, though. I, I hit it eventually, and and Skyrim was one of those games where you, I hit the point where money had no value anymore. Yeah. And as soon as I was done with that, because there's no point in buying weapons ever. Like the funny, the funny anything. thing is, like I, I hit that same, that same sort of like boat when I played it on the Switch again. Like if there were achievements on Switch that, like, say the same achievements that were on Xbox and, and Steam or whatnot, mm-hmm. I would have had like thirty or forty of them oh, yeah. by the end of the get playthrough, and I wasn't even playing seriously. I, but it doesn't matter. Let's not I, talk about Skyrim I mean, I anymore. Remember, yeah, uh, oh, I still remember the only achievement I never got was uh, the one for the. Um, uh, uh, Demor or Daedra. Artifacts. Oh yeah, that that one's a pain in the ass. Yep, I fucked um, up uh, and lost one. Um, well, there's ways to make it up though. Yeah, um, I had already gone past all of that. Um, like with Hercene's ring, you can get both the ring and the Savior's hide, and they both count. Yeah. So you can actually you only need 15, but you can get 17. Yeah, so. I had, I had fucked up. Like I I looked into that. It was funny. It, Kind of sucked, but it was like one of the few achievements I missed. Like uh, the the easiest one to miss is the uh, the. Um, the, the Vermina one, where you have to kill Arendor or take the uh, Skull of Corruption. Mm-hmm. If you don't, like, if you like Arendor and you spare him, you don't, get the, you don't get the achievement for that, so you have to be that asshole. Yeah. But, like, it's good, because what you can do is you can create a separate save file, kill Arendor, get the thing, and then go back and be fine. This is why fucking, uh, what's-her-face is charging, or, uh, Konami charging for separate save slots. I hate them for Is that. incredibly shitty. Like, that is, that, you know what, that, that is the worst... That that is the worst form of microtransaction. Seriously, I think so, yeah. like like, I I don't agree with microtransactions. Period. And you know, I, I've already said up my stance where I will not buy, I will not pay for a game where there are also microtransactions. Mm-hmm. That's why I still haven't bought Overwatch. You mean um, loot crates? Well, both. Well, there's a lot of games that have microtransactions. That's just like, yeah, in games now. Well, I mean, loot bra- loot boxes. I, but I, 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 at the same time, though, I've I've not bought any games that I can think of that have microtransactions either. Oh well. So I don't know. You're right. though, loot boxes. That's I've I've said it both, but yeah. I'm very clear on loot boxes. I will not. Yeah, buy. No, loot boxes are much. To me, they're much worse because of the the gambling aspect. Microtransactions annoy me, but um, like there's there's been much worse DLC. But it, practices in the past, but microtransactions but, are just like. But when it comes, top of the when, but when it comes to microtransactions, that that a particular thing is just why? Why are you that shitty? Why are you like this? Who hurt you? Who made you this way? You know, like like seriously, ten dollars if you want to play another character. 
Oh without, no! In in their in that yeah, it, instance, without, yeah, that's without, that's one of the worst. Easily, easily the worst. Like I can't think of a worse microtransaction. No, um, like like except like, for like horse armor. But this is that's worse in a completely different way. It's worse. I mean, it's completely useless. I, I like that's this, not even that's not even in the same league as this. Like, this is like, that's just, this is literally being a shitty. Okay, human that life that's so. cosmetic. That, yeah, that's cosmetic. And I've already stated I'm, I'm kind of moderately okay with cosmetic. No, no, it's shit. it's cosmetic, but it's billed as something more than cosmetic, and that was what was so funny. I mean, about you gave it. it, you gave your horse some protection. I, pff, bullshit. That's all I'm saying I about said, horse armor. I said some protection. <laughs> it was just bullshit, and it was pointless for some horses too. Like, like but, it's completely pointless for Shadow Mirror in the yeah. game, and. But it was just it was so funny back then. But it, yeah, no, this is this is an awful, awful way to do it. Yeah. Um Far Cry's got it's it's got its own in game currency and then it, it from what I can tell, as far as weapons go, the ones that you can buy with the um premium currency, uh all they are is they just look different. They've got different skins, like different so paint it's, jobs. it's it's all purely cosmetic. Cosmetic. Thing. Yeah, yeah I like mean, one of the main ones if you go to the weapons tab is a shovel with a big yellow smiley face painted on it. No, oh, okay. it's kind of funny because yeah, you see I, that as you're bashing somebody in the head with it. I mean, that may, that's perfect. And smile, yeah, that's, it's kind of and, and shovels are uh, like any the melee weapons are just fun as fuck because you can throw them and your character <laughs> throws with the like ability of a Spartan. So you throw baseball bats and shit like twenty yards and smack people in the head and they'll drop immediately. Or the shovel, he picks it up and throws it like a spear. <laughs> it's so great. I mean. I would totally, totally buy this game if I had something like an Xbox One yeah. or something. Like, like I, I, I refuse to allow UPlay to be to exist on my system in any form or capacity. Speaking of that, I was bored the other day and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna run um, Far Cry Three right. because I, I bought it on PC way back right, and it was right. my first real experience with UPlay on the PC. Oh my god! And I was it like, was such a dumpster fire. Yeah. I was like, you know, I kind of want to play that game. I'm going to go ahead and nobody's online to play PUBG or anything, so I'm going to play that. So I started it up. You play immediately tries to load, and I think it fucking has to update. It crashes, um, comes back up. It's like you play updates, you play opens. The game doesn't open. I have to go back to Steam, reopen the game again, get you play out of the fucking way, and then get the game open. And it's just, it takes about. 10 or 15 minutes just to open this fucking game that's fully updated and everything. And then as soon as I get the fucking game open, one of my buddies on Steam messages me, pops in and goes, hey, you want to play some PUBG? And I'm like, you motherfucker. That, you <laughs> it know took what? me 15 goddamn that, That's grounds for going to wherever that friend is and punching him in the dick. I know. I just, like and, and then getting on and playing PUBG, of course, because one, it's more fun than playing a six-year-old or a seven-year-old game. That That is 100% <laughs> justified. Like you w- That wouldn't be a crime. You'd be fine. I did. I was just like, you fucking asshole. Yes, I want to play PUBG, but I've been sitting here for 10 goddamn minutes or 15 minutes trying to get this fucking game loaded. And see, that? that's why... Like, like, like you play, oh I, shit! I, no, I will not. I will. I don't even remember. Oh, what what game? That I got a game with my video card last year, and it was it's an Ubisoft game. I think it's the division. division. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Don't even. I, load it. I won't even try it. Like I installed it, I updated it, I downloaded it, and you play, like it's just so frustrating, dude. I, it crashed the video card. Brand new fucking video card. <laughs> I get it updated, I get it loaded, I get a fucking IRQ video card error. I'm like, what the fuck? IRQ errors are like from the 90s. Why am I getting an IRQ error? Which is essentially for interrupt request, yeah. in case anybody doesn't know. It's like, and it specifically said VGA. I'm like, so you crashed my video card. Hmm. I You came with the fucking video card. But you crashed and it. you crashed it, so I'm like, "Fuck this!" So I, I go, it's, it's I get rebooted, I get, I get rebooted, I try again. This time, it it just crashes Windows. Windows just throws <laughs> up a generic blue screen. I'm like, "Fuck it!" And this is the same problem I used to have with Origin. Yeah, like 2012, 2011, whenever I built that first PC to play Skyrim on PC and Witcher and all that. Well, no, it was Skyrim because we're we're talking before Witcher. Um, 
I built that PC, man. That PC was rock solid. But the moment Origin went on to it was the moment I started having just random fucking crashes. Like, okay, Origin does not agree with my video card, my processor, my whatever. I'm Something. fucking done. So, yeah. And it wasn't until I built this new system that I decided to give Origin a shot again. And I'm kind of glad I did because it got, you know, games like Titanfall 2 and shit. So. Mm. I mean, Titanfall 2 is a great, fantastic game. So Yeah, yeah. That's funny. It's just... It's so funny. Like, I, I love that they try and make Origin um, a useful thing. Like, they like oh, this is for you, where you start a game up. And if you've played other Ubisoft games, they know because of your Origin account. And you're, then you'll Ubi, go into you their play. shop. You, you play. play. I'm sorry, their Uplay account. You go into their shop, and they'll have, like, skins or even guns that you can't access unless you go in their shop and use their points yeah. that you earn from playing their games and unlocking their own set of achievements. Yeah. And it's like, okay, well, here's this. Like, I, I got a skin for um, Far Cry 5 that is the um, Far Cry, uh, like, uh, fucking the year one or whatever, the the ancient Far Cry Primal. Oh, yeah, so it yeah. Just, I, I got a like, half-naked guy with a loincloth. <laughs> It's an option. You got a caveman. You're a caveman. I can run around as a caveman. You can run around as a caveman. I was like, oh, okay. And there's like an 10 out of 10 game. Best game ever. Yeah. There's different like stuff. Like I I think I have bobbleheads, but I don't, I haven't seen them in any vehicles. What is is the point of a bobblehead in a video game? I don't know. Like there's a raving rabbit and uh, I can't remember what the other one is. The the other one was actually kind of cute. And I was like, oh, that one's cool. But I'm like, just Why? (laughs) But uh, they put that in there and try and make it so you play. Oh, it's cool. You get in-game content. Not really. No, not not really. It's and the be- the coolest looking thing is for uh, is like full body armor that looks like a, a SWAT team member, and you have to play Rainbow Six Siege for that. No. And I was like, well, I haven't played that, so I can't get that. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on that. Yeah. <laughs> you can keep that game. That's the game where they, they, they did nothing with it for years and then upped the price on it because they started producing content for it again. I don't know, man. They, some I, I know some there's dumb a, shit like, like that. It's apparently really, really good. Right. But the fact that they have a monthly pass, yeah. and I don't know if that means you have to keep buying that shit to keep updated with the maps and stuff. Right. But I, whatever system they have, you know what? If you're a fan and you're playing it, cool. Hey, that's all right ahead. Go for it, man. That seems like the shadiest shit. If you if you pay like if you, they want to charge thirteen dollars for the game or twelve dollars whatever and then you know more like, like a membership later on, fee yeah maybe maybe that's okay maybe okay but the way that it sounds it sounds more like you're paying like it sounds a, like, like you're like, paying a monthly subscription pass like. Like what, um, what's like, what's like I just said is fine, but it sounds more know. like you're subscribing to a DLC pass. Yeah, like that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not that you're subscri- like you're subscribing to cu- keep upkeep the servers or something. You're you're giving them money every month for them to keep giving you DLC. I know. Yeah, which is like yeah, no, that's that's completely fucking that, that that's messed up. <laughs> which man. if they want to try and defend like somehow defend, uh, I'll point over to once again GTA Five and be right. like, um, they constantly come up with new. Oh yeah, they, new they, content. They just released a new pack like last week or something like I that. I mean, they, they add heist, they're adding vehicles, yeah, they're adding houses, stuff. they're adding like new areas to explore. New like, no, fuck you guys. And you know what? They they aren't charging a prescription subscription service or anything. They're keeping those servers up and going. You know how they've done it with shark cards. Yeah, and you know what? In game currency. In game currency. That's all they've done it with. That that's it. And you know the bat. The thing is, you you. And to enjoy the game online, you still don't need to even no, buy that stuff. Uh, because you can earn money through doing the heists and playing the game and, it's, and it's, buy that stuff. And it's not, it, like, it's grindy, but it's not grindy to the point where it's not outside of the realm of possibility. It doesn't feel insane. Yeah, That's, like, like it, 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 you can still have fun with it. Yeah, yeah. You know, which, I, which is a big deal with a lot of the games like that. Like, they push you towards that, that thing. They, they want you to either grind your ass off. Or give up on the grind and pay them money. Yeah, like so Battlefront, which now finally has uh, broken down, and they've released, uh, they've they've completely eliminated the pay to win uh, I stuff. Mean, I think they've eliminated the uh, loot boxes entirely from the game. I mean, I yeah. I just read the article the other day. They've Not, uh, well, good on them because loot boxes are cancer. Yeah, all of that controversy they started. Like seriously, it's it's fucking cancer. Yeah, yeah. Like it is the literal definition of cancer. It is malaligned cells eating <laughs> and killing healthy cells because that's exactly what they're I doing. I mean, I think I think loot boxes now 
because they've been caught, live services are going to be their new thing. And they're going to keep, instead of making random, they're just going to keep uh, every month or two update with uh, new skins you can earn through right. playing. or just And that's what, um, even though they're also including loot crates, Modern yeah. War, or, uh, not Modern Warfare, Call of Duty World War II is doing. They right, have their right. events, that the events come out and there's brand new, all new weapon skins. They still don't have... The weapon customization options, where you're supposed to be able to make your own skins and things like that, oh, and well, paint of your own not. weapons, which is interesting, and which they said they were going to have when the game came out. Right, right. That's not in there. Right. But they've had three, or what is it, three or four separate events that have brought in new new content, and just now they're adding like keychains that hang off the side of your gun for no fucking purpose. Your enemies can't see them. They don't give a fuck about your little. Goddamn pot of gold hanging but, off the but, side of the but, gun. But Luke, but the but free Luke, content Luke, that they've it, promised still hasn't been finished. But but Luke, but it those lets come me out custom, of loot crates. Luke, it, it lets me show off my wolf. It lets me show off my wolf. <laughs> God damn it! I know I hate it. Like it lets me it's show like, off my clan symbol. It's like you motherfuckers have had this whole, and it's still sitting there where you can go, and it's up. Oh, this content's not ready yet. It's like. Yeah. Then what's the point of even having it there? But here's more shit in our loot boxes for you to... Oh, I want that. I guess I'll buy another couple loot crates. Uh, Maybe I'll get it. Oh, I bought him a couple more. Maybe I'll get it this time. Yeah, I, I, I like I said, I just I won't buy games like that. I just I can't. Like, for one, I know I like I could be addicted to gambling, so mm-hmm. I, I won't mess with it too much. But two, it's like, dude, that's just fucked up. You're, you're just predatory. But yeah. We've ranted enough about loot boxes on again, here. And so, again, uh, again, yeah. and again. Like we we every time we get we go off about it. So let's 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 change the topic up a little bit. So mm-hmm. we got we got a new DLC pack um, for Fire Emblem Warriors. It's the last one that we're getting. Oh yeah, that's a lot of cool little shit. Like I've all like uh, uh, of the games that I've bought DLC for um, over the last like I don't know year. It's probably the one I've gotten the most use out of. Like. Uh, I've put over 200 hours into this game because of the DLC. Mm. Like it, it just adds that much to it. it adds new collectibles, adds new characters, adds new maps. Like it, it keeps it keeps things kind of cool, kind of neat, kind of fun. And like I, I was talking with you know our manager about this just today. It's like this Dynasty Warriors clone is better than the Dynasty Warriors games. Oh yeah, especially this latest one. Ugh. It's like, and th- that's kind of sad. But uh, yeah, three new characters. We got Tharja, Owain, and Olivia from Fire Emblem Awakening, which is kind of a controversial game. Some people like it, some people hate it. Um, for me, it was a return to the game series, and then I lost interest because I fucking overplayed the hell out of it. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, I, I, I put three, four hundred hours into that game easily. <laughs> I mean, you know what? When it's something you like. But, uh, yeah, like, and I've been playing it lately. Like, I got it a day late for some reason. Like, it, re- it apparently released on the 28th. Mm-hmm. Um, and I started the update. It, like, you know, you, you go, you st- you hit the uh, plus button on the Switch title, and you can choose software update via the internet, and it'll download an update. So it downloaded a fucking update, but I didn't get the update. So yesterday when it popped up on my home screen, I'm like, oh, hey, look, it's there. And I did it again and got the update that time. And so I, d- I haven't gotten to enjoy it. Uh, the furthest I've gotten is I've unlocked uh, Robin's custom weapon now because everybody now has their own weapon. So it's like, yeah, cool, excellent. Like, why didn't we have this before? <laughs> it should have been in the original game. <laughs> it should have been in the base game. DLC? But, uh, but at the same time, uh, well, no, I, I, I kind of do have that feeling because, like, the characters that now have custom weapons, mm-hmm. aside from the three new DLC characters, were characters you got with the base game. So it does kind of, it's, it's kind of, like, frustrating because it's Robin, Lissa, Frederick, and uh, somebody else, I don't fucking remember, who now all have custom, their own weapons. And they're completely unimaginative, like, Frederick's axe and Lissa's axe and, you know, like... <laughs> it's so, just their name. It's Cordelia's... Their Cordelia's lance, like Robin's this ancient weapon, passed down for generations. What's it called? Frederick's axe. <laughs> yeah, How like, did they know? <laughs> it, it, oh my goodness! Are they clairvoyant? Like the only one that actually has a custom name or, uh, is Owain's, which is Mistletane. Which, if you've ever played the game, you already knew that. And then um, a Robin's, which is the spell Thoron. That's what his. That's what his. His her custom weapon is. So. 
and that's it. I've I've played through it a little bit. Add some new value, new shit. Uh, Lynn is still my absolute most used character, level one hundred and twenty three, ridiculously overpowered. Yeah. Like because of course she's going to be. Lynn, Lynn's awesome. Lynn Lynn's easily the best character. Best character. Yeah. If I had a waifu, it'd be Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like between Lynn and Siri. I you know I can't decide. Yeah. But uh, no, the game is the game is great. Um. Well, speaking of Switch games, I said, you know, I've been playing Zelda recently again. I've, I'm playing with the Master Mode. If there's anybody out there who ever thought that this game was hard, which for me, the game was hard for like the first 30 or 40 hours. And once I started getting... That is difficult. Yeah. So you had to get... You had to get used to everything yeah. again. Um, and once I started getting like a fair amount of metal weapons, it was like, oh, this is fucking easy. And then once you get to end game, you are literally an unstoppable hero god. So it doesn't matter. You're like you're sitting there putting together a meal to go fight a, a fucking Lionel and you're naked, and it's fine because you're not going to take any damage. <laughs> so it's like, like so you're end game. I'm hunting silver Lionels for fun. Yeah. Like I'm hunting silver. I gotta Lionels. upgrade them boots. I need some Lionels. Or it, or even like you know what? I'm gonna go break some weapons because I need to hold more royal swords or some shit. Yes. So I'll go fight a couple Lionels, break like three or four weapons on beating the, beating them in the face, and then go collect the weapons. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, like, and now I'm like, I'm running from everything in master mode. Yeah. Like, every fucking thing. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm to a point now where if there's one or two Bacoblins, because mm-hmm. you don't get any red ones, like, it goes, uh, and I found out this, I didn't know this, but there's a new tier of enemy. Mm-hmm. You get gold enemies now. Yeah. So it's 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 you know blue, black, uh, purple, and gold. Yeah. Or, or silver and and gold, which gold Lionels have ten thousand HP. They're fucking huge. Yeah. But it's like I'm sitting there like I didn't know about that, but like if I'm fighting like one or two blue Bacoblins, mm. I'm fine. I can take them, no problem. The moment you introduce a black enemy into there, I'm fucking gone. <laughs> And not because um, I'm, like, afraid. Like, the damage they can take combined with the health regen, because you're jumping from, like, 80 HP, I think, to, like, 260. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous jump. And their health regen is much faster than I can damage them. I think of the entire time I've been playing, and I've, I've put, like, another 20 or 30 hours into master mode, and that entire time... Um, I've killed precisely one black enemy, <laughs> and it was an accident. <laughs> Did you just drop shit on him? Uh, no, I knocked him off a cliff, <laughs> <laughs> and he fell into the water, and that killed him. See, I don't like. I I get the challenge part of it. Right. It just to me, master mode seems, um, not fair. It it's it definitely goes not from, fair. It goes from a challenge <laughs> to this just is not fair mode. Like I already didn't like um the the master. Uh, the the thing to get the master sword. Yeah, yeah, the ma- the the, the uh, trials. The trials, which I never completed. No, by I the didn't way. either. Yeah. I, I I got like fifteen, sixteen things in. Yeah, I think I got was nine. Like, I'm I fucking got, tapping. I'm I tapping. got nine, and although that one, uh, that one I didn't complete, not for lack. Well, basically for lack of trying. Yeah, like I completely just. I, it's I, a time, that's a huge time sink. Yeah, and there are other Switch games I want to play, and I can't play yeah, those and like, like dude i've got like 12 games on my plate that i need to play yeah and i keep playing fire emblem or yeah. i keep playing zelda or i'm in like in there on my pc playing like old school doom mods yeah it's like i've got to play near automata i've got to play fucking uh titanfall 2 yeah. i've got to play uh metro metro both metro games i'm sitting here like i've got this backlog of games yeah. that i need I, I want to sit down. I want to start streaming. I want to do it on a regular basis. But I'm so busy behind the scenes, and I'm so busy doing other dumb shit. Like I, I get hooked into fi- playing Fire Emblem in my front room. It's like, oh shit. And then the, you know, I'll, I'll start at like eleven o'clock, and the next thing I know, it's seven thirty in the morning, and I haven't eaten, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> that's that's kind of what happens to me. Is I get home, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna sit down and play some other stuff. Yeah, but I'll do a couple rounds of PUBG. Oh, hey, somebody's on. Let's play PUBG. Oh, yeah. let's do it. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, five hours later, oh, fuck, I got to go to bed. <coughs> I got to right, go to yeah. work. <laughs> or like, you know, like especially on Sundays because Sunday is my off day. Sunday is the day I'll, I edit all of this, all that we're doing here. So I put it all together on Sunday, get it ready for release, and then forget about it. Mm-hmm. But that, you know, 
that can take me up to two or three hours. And I do that Sunday mornings when I get off work. So two or three hours in, and then I go out into my living room, and I'll catch up. If I haven't watched it yet, I'll catch up on some TV shows. Bill Maher, you know, yeah. I, I watch that. I watch that regularly. And then by the time I'm done doing... Snowflake. By the time I'm doing dumb, whatever dumb dick shit out there that I'm done, it's like, oh, shit, it's 1030. I need to get to bed. So I go to bed, because I want to keep my bedtimes consistent. Yeah. So I go to bed, I wake up, you know, night, 8, 8.30, go out there, make breakfast, start watching whatever fucking I'm watching that day. And then by the time I go, oh, shit, I should do something else, it's 2.30 in the morning, and I don't have the motivation to do anything else. Yeah. So I'm either sitting out there watching Dragon Ball Super, or I'm watching, you know, uh, Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, or I'm playing Fire Emblem, or I'm doing some combination thereof. Yes. Speaking of, I'm still trying to catch up on Super. I'm uh, yeah, just, I mean, uh, I'm in, I, I starting just, Goku Black Saga. I just got to uh, episode ninety, mm-hmm. so uh, I think I'm. Um, I don't know how many episodes I am, but they're they're doing the universe, the Tournament of Power, which is where the universe is getting erased to who lose. Yeah. So um, that's that's where I am right now. Uh, I think I'm like ninety ninety one, and I mean the show is fantastic. It's a great show. Oh man, I, I mean. I have a lot, like, there's a lot of things, especially early on, that annoy the hell out of me. I mean, the bad animation is um, terrible. Yeah, and like, the, I like, guess they, they've fixed that. Like, by now, I'm not noticing it as much. I, I can definitely tell you, like, I'm I'm 30 or so episodes ahead of you, and there's still moments where it's it like, happens, you yeah. guys could have done better. Come on. Yeah, that's but, frustrating. Um, it's, it, it, it's not enough anymore to, to so that you, like, you notice it, but... Uh, for me, anyway, at this point, it's not enough to take me out of the show. The Frieza, like when Frieza, Return of Frieza, that was when yeah I was noticing it constantly. It was real bad. Plus, that had all the things that pissed me off about this series too. The fucking every time they're fighting, oh, go all out! Oh, you better go all out out with me in a fight, and then they start fighting and nobody's transforming. Nobody's powered up, and they're still like Vegeta yells at them like eighteen times. Stop fucking joking around. Take this seriously. Come on, sorry. Come I'm on, guys. yelling at the fucking, like, on the TV or my phone or whatever I'm watching it on. Stop fucking around and taking 18 episodes. This is bullshit. That was, that was one of the, that was one of the big problems with the initial, the initial arc where they basically take the movie Turn and, into 15, and episode, yeah, and episode it out. Which um, I like the time that they took the extra time to explain things and, and establish Beerus as a badass. Yeah. But, the fight between Goku and Beerus, while I thought it was better in the episodes, took way too long. Yeah, oh yeah, it was really. There's so many moments of just okay, boring. Can you can all right? You, you guys are throwing it's punches. Dumb. That's cool. It's really like there's no good, like no real good content up until after Frieza's dead. Yeah, you got you got to get like, you got to get through the the, the episode. The Universal uh, Tournament, the first one, was was good. Yeah. That was the first, that was like, and I still enjoyed it because it's Dragon Ball, so I'm still watching it, even the filler episodes. But it wasn't until then that I legitimately was like, okay, these fights are entertaining. Yeah, no, I mean, like the fight with Hit was so cool. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, when you... When you even fun- though the concept is so stupid, it's so good. Uh, Yeah, time skipping. Yeah, and he can beat time skipping because he's just going faster. I I I, know, I I still don't get it, but Goku just did it, and that's um, that's what that's all it needed. Maybe maybe it's a matter of perception, because honestly, time is just perception. I, it literally see, all it is. You know what? They, I mean, so Goku's whole thing at first was like, I've gotten my reactions are so quick that no, no, I can no, no, predict no, no, no. your move. It, it was less that his reactions were quick. It's more like okay, so I know his time skips only point mm-hmm. one second. Oh, he could pre- okay, well, he so predicted he, how fast. He, yeah, so he's sitting there. No, he, he wasn't predicting how fast. He was predicting what moves he was making. Yes. So he was sitting there studying. Who fucking knows? Because it's Goku. But he's sitting there studying Hit in such a way that he could predict what moves Hit's about to make. And then Hit makes his jump go faster. And then, and then at the end of the series, Beerus is like, Goku, stop fucking around. You went through, you were pushing time, weren't you? And Goku's like, well, yeah, a little. It's like, but, so now he can travel fucking through time too, apparently? So what are you talking about? Goku or Hit? Goku, yeah, no, Beerus, there's a conversation with Go- where Beerus, or maybe it was King Kai, it's when Goku was having uh, withdrawals from uh, going Kaioken while Super uh, Super Saiyan, Blue Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. 
Uh, I think they might have changed something in the dub because I don't remember that. Uh, maybe it's not in the subs, but straight up somebody is like, you were pushing time or you were pushing uh, – it was whatever he was doing to beat hit. He was doing something really severe. I I don't I don't remember. maybe it's I just mean, a I translation do know, thing. I do know that Wiss very much mentioned that what uh, what to hit does with his ability is against galactic law. Like yeah. it's it's taboo to fuck with time. Which they're talking about again because um, Trunks just came back. Right. Which um, is funny. Which they they just completely brush past that whole thing. Oh, I love the ent- I kind of loved that, especially in the translation, because Beerus and Wiss are right there going, "You can't travel through time. It's against galactic law. You will fucking break something. Stop it." And then all the humans are going, "Yeah, so we why don't we fix the time machine? We got the old one. We can go back." And they're just over there watching them like. These motherfuckers. Wait, how fuck are, are they, they, are they, they really doing are this? Are they really doing this right now? Did I not? Am I not a destroyer guard? Did I just not tell these fucking mortals not to fuck with time? And then she's, oh, we'll fix up the old machine. How you did? It's so and great. They and just, they just do whatever. And, and they're and, doing and, whatever. And then finally, Beerus and Wiss are just like, <laughs> I, all right, whatever. Well, I fuck mean, it. okay, at the point that I'm at, because um, you know the stakes of the Tournament of Power, you already yeah. know that. It, 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 it's funny um, because Wiss and Beers have a small debate mm-hmm. where, <laughs> and I I love it. Wiss and Beers have a small debate where they're 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 trying to decide should they tell everybody that whoever lose whatever universe loses <laughs> they get a race because yeah. nobody knows only Nobody's Goku only Goku Gohan and Piccolo know at this point and oh, I think God. maybe Dende. But it's like nobody fucking knows, right? Mm-hmm. And so they're all carefree, and Beerus is, of course, bitching about that. And Wiss is like, well, why don't you tell them? And then it launches into this scenario, like, you know, a hypothetical scenario, yeah. where it's like Bulma is just yelling at Beerus, and Beerus is trying to explain himself, and is failing. <laughs> and she's just <laughs> continuing to call him an idiot and all this stuff. And it cuts back to Beerus and Wiss, and Wiss is just holding Beerus's ear and yelling at it like Bulma would. And this is like, and Beerus, you, Beerus has that look like, okay, I really don't want to tell her because I don't want her yelling at me. It's like, that's the kind of comfort they have. It's yeah. that you got this god of destruction who could literally just erase your entire existence, and he's scared of telling Bulma about this because he doesn't want Bulma yelling at him. Yeah. It, I love I, fucking Beerus. I, I, Choppa's great, too. Yeah, Choppa. When they introduced Choppa. Yeah. Like, Beerus and Choppa. I, hate, I hated them kind of early on. Yeah. Um, And it's still kind of annoying that he's, I'll fucking destroy you. I will. Yeah. Don't test me. Like, shut the fuck up. Hey, stop being a you bitch. You want more ramen. <laughs> <laughs> <You'll>... <laughs> Which I still love that in that series, like, ramen. ramen. And fish sausages. Ramen and like cup noodles yeah. are like the best meal Earth has to offer. <laughs> and there's the episode where Beerus eats like forty of them, like literally he's just sitting there eating fucking cup noodles, and behind his throne or his chair or whatever, it's there's just, just a pile. There's just a pile noodles. of empty, yeah, empty cups. It's like I I love that that is the best food. <laughs> Luke, why are you setting things on fire again? Stop it. I like setting things on fire and it didn't uh. burn all the way. But, yeah, I like. This so, is what he does. I, this is what he does. I have a lighter. Things must be set on fire. But uh, I like the. Uh, I, I, I like. I like and I dislike. Like, I didn't like it in the Frieza tournament. There's a lot of times in this series so far where characters are fighting in, like, non Super Saiyan. Right. And. I it almost seems like they're trying to make that a point, and that, that, that yeah, yeah, how I mean, strong they are outside of that. Without, I mean, that honestly, upgrade. they did that with Z too, though. Where you know there there were episodes where like when the villains broke out of hell, and yeah, uh, well, we, they no, no no. What I'm saying is in this series they do it they do it way more than Z and Z. Yeah, they beat the villains without going Super Saiyan, right? But in this, they'll be fighting someone that they haven't that is going to be more powerful. And they will start every fight. Like Goku versus Goku Black, he starts um, in normal. I, and he I, already knows Goku Black is at least Super Saiyan level 3. Uh, well, no, they don't They don't know anything at that point. No, Trunks tells him. Like, he does that little spar with Trunks. And well, Trunks is like, no, he's more powerful. No, he's more powerful. Right, right. But at the same time, 
I mean, they have Goku. Goku it. doesn't know. I mean, and Goku. But what I mean, it's not just that. There's a lot in this series, right? Where they're fighting and they do different things. I get what you're saying, but with your point, Goku doesn't quite know, and that's also kind of the point. Is Goku doesn't know what he's up against. Yeah. Well, and also, Goku is an idiot. He is. He is. And Vegeta so, points I mean, that out at some point. Where right. Somebody is like, "Why the fuck is Goku fighting? Not not going all out?" And Vegeta's yeah. like, "Because that's Goku." He's an idiot. Like at the he point where I'm at, wants to. He doesn't want to end the fight too quick and wants to build up. He wants to have fun. He wants yeah. to enjoy his time. And well, like, it, like what I'm saying is, there are some times where that annoys the hell out of me, especially the Frieza fight. Right. So fucking dumb. Right. It's Frieza. Fucking fight for real. Like go go. There's no reason. Go not full to. power yeah. right away. Like, but later <laughs> on in the series, I, I kind of started appreciating it. Where I didn't even remember who the fight was between. It, maybe it was uh, Black versus Trunks. Or something like there's been a fight just in the episodes I've seen where legitimately I think it was my favorite fight I've seen in all of Super and maybe goes back to most of Dragon Ball. Right. And it was just they were at normal power level. Yeah. It was great. Like I I kind of started appreciating that. I mean at this point I'm so used to it that it doesn't even matter. Like it doesn't even register to me. Oh, I remember. It was Goku versus – uh, the Vegeta, uh, the Vegeta clone. clone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, the, that fight like surprised the hell out of me. Right, that was pretty awesome. Minus the whole Vegeta cheering on both Goku and the the Vegeta clone thing. <laughs> yeah, that that was a that was an interesting uh, little arc. Yeah, honestly, like that was just, it was kind of it was filler. It wasn't great, but at the same time, I liked it. I it liked was, that they brought honestly, back the old voice dude, actor. Dude, it was better than the Garlic Junior saga. I still like the Garlic Junior saga. Piccolo got to be a badass. I mean, Garlic... no, Goku didn't save the day. And in this arc, Goku specifically saves the fucking day. This series is about Goku saving everything. Oh, I know. Like, it's, they gave up. Like, that was all of the last half of Dragon Ball was Goku's not going to be around to save everybody. Goku's not going to be. Oh, now he has to. Oh, he's not going to save everybody. And then this series is just, we accept it. Goku is here. Yeah, well, Goku needs to do Goku's all the things. Goku's going to save the Goku world. needs to punch everyone in the snaz. And he will because yeah. he really wants to. Because he really wants to, like that. That's part of the thing with with the current story arc um, that I'm on, the Tournament of Power. Like, uh, I uh, they they held an exhibition match between uh, Universe Seven and Universe Nine. Mm-hmm. Okay, and Goku's universe is Universe Seven. Yeah. So they it was him, Gohan, and uh, Boo. They got Boo to fight. Yeah. And. Uh, uh- come back to that in a minute because oh, that yeah. pisses me off but anyway so they're in there um they're fighting or whatever at the before goku has his fight mm-hmm. the guy he's fighting against sits there and, and basically points it out that this is all goku's fault yeah that the tournament of power is going to happen that universes are going to be erased this is all goku's fault because he wanted to fight and, and which why everyone thinks goku's a villain right so it's like like and at this point I'm like I, I I really just want to go like if I were in the series like I would just make sure everyone knows hey listen guys Goku is not a villain he's not malicious he's not evil seriously he's just an idiot <laughs> he, he's just a dumbass he's a big dummy who likes to fight that's that's yeah. all he's not he's not evil he's not a villain he's just stupid <laughs> I just want to let you all know well press release. He's Goku's stupid. an idiot. Goku is stupid. <laughs> this is not mal- this is not mal- malign intent. This, nothing is bad about. He's terrible I mean, father. Nothing. <laughs> Gohan is much better off having been raised by Piccolo. Oh, absolutely. But uh, he's just he's just dumb, folks. That, he's just a big dumb animal. You know, it's like David Spade with uh, whatever uh, fucking Chris Farley. He's just a big dumb animal, folks. Yes. That's all he is. <laughs> like just... and that, that 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 perfectly defines Goku. I love him. He's he's a great character. He's stupid. Yeah, he's very stupid. He's a genius when it comes to fighting. Otherwise, he's just dumb. I, there's a there's somewhere in the black where Black shows up and Goku is like. I don't know if I really understand, guys. And Piccolo's like, he's the bad guy. Punch him in the face. That's all you need to know, Goku. And he's like, oh, all right. <laughs> Wait, is that in Super or is that in Abridged? Uh, no, it's in this. It's in Holy fucking shit. Super. I, it's not as simplified as that, but it's basically what Piccolo says to him. Okay, all right. I mean, God, I, I, like I've, I've seen all of these episodes, yeah. and obviously there's going to be differences between the subs and the dubs, and I'm watching the, the subs. Yeah, I'm watching the dubs, which <laughs> normally I won't watch dubbed anime, but 
if there's one and, that oh, I will, it's Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, so Dragon Ball. it's Dragon Ball Z. Like the only other one I'll watch uh, dubbed is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I don't remember if I watched that dubbed or subbed. Sub, no. Subbed or dubbed, I'll watch it either way. Oh, yeah, it's just because um, their voices. Their either way, their voices are really good. Yeah. Like, that's not one where you have some old Japanese lady yelling as Goku. Like, it's <laughs> like, okay, I'll accept it. I've been watching it. I don't care. But it's like, yeah. when it comes to that, that, that Dragon Ball Z is one of those series where that's what I grew up with. Yeah. But when I watch, and th- there have been several shows where I've, I thought, even though I watched the, the dubbed first, I really do think the sub is better. Like, with Roni Kenshin, I think the sub is oh, better. Oh, much better. Much um, better. But it's like, with, with this, no, for me, the voice actors that, that that Funimation has to do it's, Dragon Ball Z, they're, per, they're great. They're they're way they're so much better for me. Yeah, for my for my. That's why I'm watching dub. This is the only reason I have a Funimation account instead of a um, Crunchyroll Crunchyroll account. Yeah, because I can just watch the dubs and I'm like I don't know how far they go, but they're still there. Right. Um. I mean, considering I have all the way up to episode one thirty one or one thirty or whatever, and that's that's in Japan. Like, I doubt you're gonna have be able to go that far. Yeah. Of course, so you will reach a you will reach a limit. Yeah, because I because obviously that just aired like two weeks ago. Oh no, it ago, the the series ended uh, last week. Right, so it's like which has already been spoiled because of people on Facebook and see I I haven't I haven't articles yeah, like like the just just the memes that come out of the show again why Super I think is so amazing <coughs> is Super brought back that nostalgia in such mm. a big bad way. Like it's almost like people that I I know and I've you know talked about with different things and you know, um, but Super comes out and then everybody's talking about Dragon Ball, everybody's yeah, yeah, sharing yeah, memes, sure. everybody's talking about where the fuck is Frieza, like all this stuff. And I'm not there yet. And I've like I've said before, I've skipped around and watched clips. Right. Like I basically know how Goku Black goes. Yeah, there was an episode I I watched recently mm-hmm. where it's like holy shit, I've watched this episode and it was the episode. Uh, where the Grand Prix is so showing the Zenos what's going on. It's yeah. like, I don't remember when I watched this, but I, I remember the entire episode. Yeah, like where you're watching right now, yeah. I've watched, I know where, what happens with Boo and what makes me mad right. is Boo fights and then decides I'm going to get serious because I, I can't remember if he just barely wins or loses. Um, but, are you talking about the, the fight? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, uh, fucking Satan tells him, just play with the guy. Yeah, so that's what he does. He plays with the guy, but he gets serious after that and decides he's going to buckle down. I mean, he he does he def from my perspective, yeah. it wasn't a just win. Like he beat the shit out of that guy. It's, well, at some point he decides. Boo decides I'm going to be a um, I'm going to. Well, yeah, it's when serious. Satan gets hurt. Yeah, when Satan gets hurt, he's like, so, I'm going to fuck you. Like up I've now. seen that stuff, and yeah. it's the same with the original, with the the first tournament of uh, the, the universes. Yeah, Boo falls asleep, and nope, he's not going to fight. <laughs> that pissed me off so much, dude. That it, com- that comes up again. Yeah, you know, I know he falls yeah. asleep before like, the uh, oh. universal tournament, and they can't wake him up, and so they have to go get somebody else. They have fucking Frieza again, and it's like, come on, Boo is such an awesome character when he fucking is like taking shit seriously and fighting. Why can't we see Boo be awesome? Yeah, more, I mean, more often. I wanted to see him in like his, his sort of pseudo super Boo form, yeah, beating when the he shit out of everything. Got when he, super strong. When he got super buff and like he, he, he lost all that big chuggly they weight. They make it just, a point that in Super of characters who had never trained, like they they make it a big point with Frieza. He's never trained before, so he's going to take a month, and he achieves a four, four months. Four months. Yeah, he and took he four months. Super, uh, the gold form, and and then they, which is they mention apparently with, on par with God form. Yeah, and yeah. then they mention it with other characters. And well, and with base God form, apparently, right? Because they go way beyond that. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. But, I can't. I can't wait for that. I know. Yeah. I, I know that's coming because that I spoiled that on myself a little bit, but I do know yeah. what's coming. Is like I can't wait to see that. That's going to be just, awesome. The, the amount of fighters they bring back for the tournament. Yeah, right? fucking Roshi and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, Master Roshi, like, like, using when, stuff you haven't seen since Dragon Ball. Fucking dude, he's gonna seal somebody. He uses something. the demon seal stuff, man. Hey, do you see that that one little girl from that that alternate Saiyan planet where mm-hmm. she goes fucking legendary Super Saiyan? No, I didn't. Oh my oh, god, I, didn't. I thought there, she. I thought there's maybe a, they fused, but I know there no. Was, there's a character that goes legendary, legendary Super Saiyan. Saiyan. <laughs> she she's a female awesome. Broly, and was she's gonna, dude. They get, yeah, I mean, and they all like. I know it, who it boils down to. Like they like, all get oh, yeah. beat. <laughs> oh, of course they do. But it's like if there's anyone that would give 
Goku a run for his money. It's going to be another for a little while. It's going to be well. You got to remember <laughs> that the angrier a legendary Super Saiyan gets, the stronger he gets. Yeah, he has almost no like limit to the power, so he's just going to keep pushing further. And that's like that's something we got to kind of keep in mind. I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they retcon a lot of the stuff about that though, right? Because again, this character like doesn't stick around. Right, no, so, she, I mean, she loses and she gets erased because that's Universe 6, and we already of, know that happens. Hey, well, yeah, they, uh, fucking lots of universes get erased. Right, there's only well, two left by the end of the series. Well, no, look, and then there's, there's, only there's, one there's four that don't, uh, that are exempt from the tournament. Oh, okay, I didn't, I have Yeah, no, uh, yeah, um, I guess that's something you didn't see, but there's no. four tur- I've watched, I've, like, I've watched a skipped around okay. a lot, so, there's, there's 12, so I've seen a lot of the fights. <laughs> there's 12 universes, <laughs> the good shit. right? Yeah. But four of them, uh... The average power index of their mortals are higher than seven, so those four those four universes are exempt. Mm. So they have uh, it's like a one. So they're even more powerful. One twelve. Uh, I I don't remember the one twelve five and eight. I think are are exempt from the tournament of power. They're not going to be erased. They're not going. Yeah. They're not at risk of being erased. They're fine because like because I guess there's a there's an index of one to ten or whatever where. Mm. That that Zenos came up with somehow, where they rated the power, the average power of the mortal, and in those universes it's above seven, so like you guys are exempt. So the rest of you, universe seven is second to the bottom. Oh wow! The weakest was uh, universe nine with one point eight six. Yeah. And then universe uh, seven has like three point three eight or something like that. But this is in the dub, of course. So it yeah. might be a little different when you, or this is in the sub, so it might be a little different. So when it you almost get the dub. sounds like because there are these really powerful people protecting the weak people. Yeah. That it's a matter of the average okay. power level is so low. <laughs> right. So like, and that's kind of what it is with Universe Seven because all of the power is basically in Goku and Vegeta. Yeah. With little bits less, but you know, yeah, gathered among Goku, like Gohan Vegeta, and Piccolo, and then you had like Cell, Frieza, right? Uh, Boo, which are all most of them are all dead. They've all been wiped out, so yeah. they're not threatening the universes anymore. <laughs> so it's a matter of Zenos. The Zenos decided there's too many universes, so mm-hmm. we're going to erase all the weak ones. But in order to do that, we're going to have this tournament. Yeah. Which, by the way, they forgot about, and Goku went to them against Beerus's wishes to remind them about God, it. God, I hate Goku. And Such that's, an idiot. That's why everybody hates Goku. It's because, understandable. Oh, you're just going to wipe out all of these universes. Well, uh, now, in Goku's defense, he didn't know that was going to be a condition nah. until it was nope. too late. No, no, no seriously. defense for Goku. No, no, no. He didn't know this. <laughs> Remember. I know. He might not know, but God damn it, Goku. That's the only credit he gets is that he didn't know that was going to be a condition of the tournament. I do love. There's a moment earlier on. When um, what's the character's name who they're telling is stronger than Goku? Uh, uh, Beerus, so oh, that he oh, keeps Manaka. training. Manaka. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> when it's fucking, it's just a fucking delivery guy. They go through all of this bullshit. Beerus pretends to be Manaka, fights Goku. Goku doesn't notice it's fucking Beerus the whole time because Goku is dumb. Remember, because that. he's dumb. Whis finally stops the fight and goes, "Ah, we're good. That's it." And then they land. And Yamcha says something so fucking stupid, like, ha great job, guys. I can't believe Goku didn't notice that Manaka's right over there. <laughs> some shit. Oh, yeah, he said something <laughs> really dumb. And everyone's just like, it, Beerus is straight up, I'm destroying that one first. <laughs> he's like, he's getting wiped away. You useless little fucking peon. Now, to be fair, oh, Yamcha so does redeem himself. Later in the series, oh, I'm sure. Have you gotten to his baseball? Yeah, 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 in the baseball game. I watched clips from that too. I know what happened. He redeems himself in the baseball game. I know what happened. It's it's so fuck. Oh my god, it's such a running joke. Yamcha is because uh, when he hears about the tournament of power. He goes home, goes home thinking, yeah, Goku's going to invite me. No, the fuck he's not. No, no he's and not. And he's at home. He's just sitting there. He's chilling like him and Poir. Like, yeah, I'm just, how, how am I going to? Oh, Poir saves the day at that point because Poir turns into Beerus. And it was so good. Yes. Oh, yeah, that that was pretty. That was pretty good. <laughs> uh, but, well, no, that, that was before uh, fucking Yamcha opened his dumb mouth. No, the, no, it was right after. That's how he dumb idiot. That's how he fixes it by turning into Beerus. But it's um, it, it it's 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 great because Yamcha's like, oh yeah, how am I gonna do it? Am I gonna be cool about it? Am I gonna be casual? Am I gonna oh, be God. suave? And then fucking Master Roshi shows up. 
Because he's sitting there thinking, oh, Goku's just going to instant transmission in and invite me. No, Yamcha, you're a fucking joke, dude. You're, you're, no, you're the first one who dies. Yeah, like, as much flack as Krillin gets in fucking uh, a bridge, Yamcha is worse. Yeah, well, Krillin is around for all those fights. That's true. That's the key thing to remember. But Yamcha, but Krillin doesn't die first in any given fight. No. So, he's, he's got that going for him. He's fine. It's it's cool. It's okay. I can't wait to see Android 17 fighting yeah. In that oh yeah, those from what I've seen of him fighting, it's cool. Yeah, it's him coming back is really fucking awesome. I mean, he's he's just a cool motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Like he really is, and like you know, when when Goku goes to his little island, it's like, hey man, you know, come join the tournament. It's like, oh yeah, and, and they, they, do they a, fight space poachers. Space poachers, <laughs> dude. That sounds like an egg, uh, like an egg restaurant. Space poachers. Space poachers. We poach your eggs perfectly. Yeah, like like we poach your eggs in space. In just eggs <laughs> in space. For some reason, they have the little uh, space core as their mascot from fucking uh, Portal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, ah, why not? All right, I I think I've used up all my energy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm energy. tired. <laughs> Send energy so Send we can me. defeat Majin Buu. <laughs> Goku. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed that Android like seventeen raises? Yeah, have you noticed that in, uh, like, maybe not everyone, but Goku's trump card is almost always a spirit bomb? Uh, that's one thing I hated about Dragon Ball Z in the movies. Is yeah, it like, always like, like came every, down to... every fucking movie, it was always a spirit bomb. They they fight the puds, and it's it's pretty awesome. Right. Um, Goku comes in and, like, beats the puds. They start fighting the boss, and eventually it's shown that either they transform, something happens... And it's just, they can't win. Yeah. No chance of winning, and then finally Spirit Bomb, and they beat. That's why one of the reasons I liked uh, um, Lord Slug. Yeah. He gets a power-up from Piccolo and somehow triggers a, like, pseudo Super Saiyan. Or no, he already triggered pseudo Super Saiyan. He gets a power-up from Piccolo and then finally finishes Slug off. Oh, oh! did you know there is a a, a god form for Namekians? Really? Yeah, it's called Red-Eyed Namekian. That's mm-hmm. all it is. And... The only real difference between a normal Namekian and the red-eyed Namekian is that their eyes turn red. Oh, that's cool. And Does uh, Piccolo hit that? No, not that I know of. Because um, I, I didn't see him with red eyes in the fucking clips no, I've seen. No, there's a... It, I don't think it shows up in the actual show. It yeah. is canon, but it's. Not, I don't think it shows up in the show. I think it shows up in one of the video games. But it's like the nameless Namekian or whatever yeah. apparently hits it in one of the games. It's like, oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, they mentioned when... Uh, uh, like I think it was in Lord Slug or... At some point, King Kai is talking about the fact that there were these Namekians who were, like, unbelievably powerful. Right. Piccolo was one, Lord Slug was one, and there are all these characters. Like, and, like, the way he talks about it, granted, this is going back to he talked about Frieza the same way. Yeah, They talk yeah. about Boo the same way. And every time there's always that stronger enemy. He talks about them like, end all, be all, do not fuck with this. They are a god. Yeah. And, of course, it turns out to not be the case. But right, right. I always took it that at some point there was a Namekian that was, like, that powerful. Right. And, and then reached a level like that. So that sounds – I mean, it sounds about right. It would be yeah. really cool to see, too. I, yeah, I'd be – I'd be. I, I'd want to see Piccolo yeah. hit that level. I want to see Piccolo be relevant again. Relevant I mean, again. That's oh. one of the reasons I love the turn on the power is they all kind of spread out. And there's lots of power levels going on there. Yeah. So you have, like, Master Roshi can get into a fight. You have fucking Krillin and Tien. Yeah, yeah, because it's less about power levels and just beating the shit out of your opponent and more about... The strategy to it. The strategy and tactics and shit Mm -hmm. like that, yeah. Which, Piccolo, that's what he does. He's a tactical fighter. He's fucking great. Like, he, he he can muscle out sometimes, but he's a tactical fighter. Also, Gohan getting a fucking reality check and realizing, I should probably train again. And uh, when Frieza kicked the shit out of him was great. Right. Well, all right. Either way, (laughs) we've (laughs) we've got over Dragon Ball Super enough. Obviously, we enjoy it. You guys should check it out. Yeah, Uh, if you haven't yet, you know, fucking do it, dude. Yeah. No, it's it's worth it. Uh, Um, Again, check out. We have a (laughs) Discord server. Thanks to everyone who, you know, goes in there and talks and stuff. Hell, I don't even talk in there a lot. I kind of... Uh, I'm off and on on Discord, but uh, check that out. Check our Facebook out. And, of course, there's all all these links are always available um, on the website. Patreon, iTunes, give us a rating. That would be super awesome if you would. 
Throw us a buck on Patreon. Yeah. Whatever, man. Just Honestly, yeah. it, getting getting the word out would be even, like, obviously having some money would be cool, too. But getting the word out so the podcast could spread, that would be the most awesome thing you guys could possibly do for us. And, right uh, you know, check us out on uh, TuneIn. We're on TuneIn now. TuneIn yep. Radio. So I got us on there and uh, making moves to uh, get us on other places. The mm-hmm. more places, the better, right? Yep. Uh, and if there's any places you guys listen to podcasts or know people that do, let us know. Because there's a lot of apps out there. Just knowing about them, we can try and get on them and, you know. There we go. All right. So for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. Fuck Frieza.